Thanks for the question. Uh, we'll begin with Jim Anderson again. Jim, uh, do you favor the repeal of No Child Left Behind? I do. I, I don't think it's, it's another government program. Government mandates with no funding, and the government shouldn't be funding that uh, anyway. Again, I would start at the top, folks, and I would eliminate the education department. The federal government has no uh, right to dictate to states and further down to local communities how they are to educate their children. It begins at a local level, uh, in concert with the state perhaps, but the federal government should keep their nose out of the state and local community business. It's created more problems, uh, Steve, than, uh, than it has created solutions. And um, uh, local communities and school districts end up <coughs> having to uh, fund programs uh, dictated by the federal government with their own money. I'm definitely not in favor of that. Wake Hartman, do you favor repeal of one child left behind? Uh, to be quite direct with the answer, yes. Uh, President Bush started No Child Left Behind. Uh, it sounds very, very uh, exciting and telling in its words. But I think we can all agree here today that it has failed. Uh, the Department of Education, which spends billions and billions and billions of our tax dollars on very things like this, if funded, uh, are not needed and are not required. The state of Kansas, by the 10th Amendment, should be in charge of, take direction of, and be involved in our children's education at the local level. Uh, I think all of us here understand we do not need some bureaucrat in Washington, D.C. deciding what class, what book, what your students learn in the schools in Wichita in the 4th District. The state of Kansas and the local level are the ones that need to decide what education is of value to you and to our kids. The family unit needs to be more involved in our children's education. And I go through the 4th District for the, almost the last year, and the one thing I find so surprising is the increasing number of people that are doing homeschooling. I find it uh, very rewarding for them and for myself to see how they do that. I think it's quite an undertaking, but I think it shows you the direction that uh, some people believe our education system is going even here. You're seeing an increase in uh, private schools, Christian-based schools, and homeschooling. So we need to take and be more aware locally and do not let the federal government continue to dictate what our children learn. Mike Montejo, do you favor the repeal of no travel left behind? I actually just had this discussion yesterday with a school board member from uh, Harper County, Kansas. Uh, we were sitting around the lunch table and he was discussing the burden of no child left behind on his uh, relatively small school district. The, the enormous cost, uh, uh, the enormous uh, teach to the task burden that had been imposed school so I, I would certainly I would certainly favor uh, repealing that. Uh, I'm not new to this issue. Uh, I've been a part of a, a policy institute that spent a lot of time thinking about uh, how we ought to do education here in America <clears throat> and it looks radically different than what we do today. Today we drive almost all of our uh, all of our requirements from the federal government. Uh, roughly 10 to 15 percent of the money for our schools here in Kansas 4 uh, comes from the federal government and about 90 percent of the rules and requirements that's that's flipped. It's, uh, it, it doesn't make sense. You know, as a, as a freshman congressman, you could well end up on an education subcommittee. <clears throat> and, I, and I think to myself, what do I know about running a school district in Hope, okay, New Jersey, uh, or Seattle, or even uh, Argonia, Kansas? Um, the federal government has, uh, has no special knowledge and is disconnected in deep ways from how different communities want to run their schools. Uh, we, we know this too. Uh, the more opportunities you give to families and school districts about how to do that, the better the education will be. If we can create a competitive environment, those schools will do better. We find here, like we do at other government institutions, tenure. Uh, very few of you in your private businesses have tenure. You promote the guy who's been there the longest or the guy who's been there the longest. Uh, and uh, none of you have the difficulties in uh, relieving someone who's not getting the job done like we do in our school districts. If we change that rule set and we'd allow uh, our communities to make decisions about their hiring practices, rewarding teachers who are performing incredibly well uh, and rewarding them incredibly well, uh, our education system in America would be uh, greatly improved. Paige Rushman, again with the question, do you favor the repeal of No Child Left Behind? The No Child Left Behind uh, Act was had a good intention. The issue with it was, number one, it lacked appropriate funding to uh, the schools to implement it correctly, and also it uh, caused the schools to focus on just a very few subjects. Uh, they were too concerned, or they are too concerned with trying to pass the test such that they can get funding. Um, our education
educational system, we need a well-rounded uh, curriculum for our students. We are facing a gap uh, in our science and technology area. Our employers can go overseas and get better educated and lower cost employees than what we have here in the United States. We are falling fast on the educational uh, curve as far as the world is concerned. This is something that we need, we need to really address as a nation. I believe that our uh, that it is true that our states and our communities are the best, uh, most knowledgeable entities to determine what our students, how they are to learn the best, and what the various schools require. I do believe that the federal government does have a responsibility for coordinating with the states and providing an overall insight into where uh, we are falling short as far as our uh, skill sets for the nation. The federal government needs to coordinate with industry and the business community to determine where we are falling short as far as our uh, employable skills. So it is kind of a combination as far as repealing the act. I don't know if I would, uh, at this point, I would have to take a closer look at it and see if it's salvageable. I think it had a good intent, but like I said originally, it lacked funding. Teacher, the question again, do you favor the repeal of No Child Left Behind? Thank you. Uh, that is true. No Child Left Behind had a good intent because local school districts, state school districts, uh, we're not teaching every child. And No Child Left Behind forces that, that every child must improve and learn certain things. Uh, but again, the federal government has, has instigated all of these regulations that it makes it impossible to meet and it has cost millions of dollars. We are fortunate here in the state of Kansas that we have a very, very good state school district. And uh, our teachers are excellent. Our administrators, our local control, our local school boards take their jobs very seriously. And we have been increasing in our test scores and in our achievement for students uh, continually for the last 10 years or more. Um, I believe that I'm, very, I'm also very concerned about another um, drive for national standards. We've already, we have already spent all of these millions of dollars at the state level for these assessments and working with No Child Left Behind and now another group at the federal level is, is trying to push national standards which we would just have to start all over again. So I believe it's a local control issue. We have worked uh, at the state level very closely with the chamber and business groups for uh, establishing a qualified workforce to make sure that young people are able to be employable uh, either through technical training or through higher education and that this is, a, this is a very, very important area for the future because of our shortage of young people. I believe that the future is bright for them but we need to uh, make sure that our schools are good in preparing them. All right, the next question, we begin with uh, 